Hello and welcome to another week of energy reading. Today we're looking at the third week of January, which is the 15th to the 21st of January 2018. And um, it's going to be a bit of a weird week, um, for want of better words, because on the 17th, which is the Wednesday, we have a new moon in Capricorn, uh, but also Venus and the Aquarius on that day. So we're moving gently into Aquarius. Um, and on the 19th, then, su the Sun enters Aquarius as well. So we're moving away from Capricorn. And no offense to the Capricorns, it's actually quite a good thing because Capricorn is quite a, um, a serious sign, uh, so to speak. It's all about long-term success and, and things like this. So um, um, things where you have to put emphasis behind it. Speaking of emphasis, when the new moon is in Capricorn, you may feel the urge to really move on in life and get things done and um, remember sometimes you can't rush things because we're going through stuff that we have to go through in order to learn certain lessons so rushing it would mean that the lesson comes back in another shape or form which doesn't necessarily help if you don't learn it <laughs> this time around um, so the easiest way then when we as we uh, move into the new moon in Capricorn is to align yourself uh, and, and surround yourself with people that are closer to how you feel, who are, um, in a way, aligning to your highest values, okay? So that's just to know uh, with regards to the third week of January, nothing to worry about. Um, and also, a good week, uh, since we have a new moon in Capricorn, and we uh, already said here that this is um, um, sort of a strong, serious kind of star sign. It's a good week to uh, manifest uh, anything new about careers and business and things, things like this. So any business venture that, that you have or that you feel like pursuing, it's good to look at it this week. Okay, so let's now look at the overall energy for the week ahead and see what they got. Just want to give it a little bit more energy. And I will do this for every star sign, and then we'll see. Overall energy is actually not a bad idea, or not a bad week at all, because we have the spider and the coyote. And the spider is building the web of life. So this is a week where you just have to have a look at where your life is going, um, are you giving too much space to people that uh, take up a lot of your time and energy in your web of life? Remember, you create the space in your web of life. Um, so this week is just about uh, um, realizing that you call the shots in your life. And the coyote is the animal that tells you, um, I'm a scavenger. I will get by just fine. So they're asking you not to reflect on the relationship in terms of what it does to your financial state, but um, what it does to you on an emotional level. And if you feel that someone um, has the tendency uh, at this point in time to, um, well, uh, drain you, for want of a better word, then they need less space in your web of life. Remember, there's not one word said here about letting people go. This is just about you um, freeing yourself up for higher energy. And that's the overall energy that we have uh, for the week of January 15th to the 21st. And um, yeah, let's have a look at the, or at the um, individual star signs now, starting with Capricorn. For Capricorns this week, um, and you can you can already tell that we're moving into um, a new moon in Capricorn. So you can see this. This is all about um, pr um, moving forward, um, being serious for a moment, really, because what Capricorn has this week is um, paying attention to your ideas. Um, if you have new ideas coming to you, they come to you for a reason and for a purpose, and it's important to realize. Hang on a second, that might be something worth pursuing. So um, what the guides are asking you to do this week is to pay attention 
to to um, new things that can help you in your life. And the other thing is um, that you have to realize, let's just say you're trying to uh, manifest something that is difficult to get. Um, you know, like a new business venture, or let's just say you uh, have a certain skill, but you need um, a room to display it or something, something along uh, those lines, and it hasn't manifested yet. Um, this is a good week to realize that you have made progress. Now, you're probably going to say, how have I made progress? I haven't got the room yet. <laughs> But the very fact that you're putting it out there and say, I deserve that room because I want to display these things, um, is you manifesting it. And yes, good things uh, always take some time, so, so to speak, but you have made progress. And it's important this week to not lose faith. Okay, that was Capricorn going into Aquarius. And it's interesting because I was just um, drawn to playing the lowest of the uh, jubilar bells here, um, which always has to do with energy. And the energy for Aquarius at this moment is probably quite low. And um, what you need to do is to find a vantage point, a point in your life where you say, I have to stop here, I have to rest here, and then pay attention to what's going on, but see it from a higher point of view. Do not give in to um, uh, stress. Do not give in to um, being frustrated. Right? Just reflect on where you are in life. And remember that uh, this week, um, it's, it's unfortunately for Aquarius, it's a week where uh, people will not truly fully get you. So it would be a good week for just reflecting on where you are and making changes in the following week. Um, this week is not a good week to um, throw in uh, uh, the towel <laughs> or the gauntlet kind of thing. Um, it's just a good week to say, like, I need a vantage point from where I can reflect on my life. right? And as you can see, it's only the second star sign in and already we're looking at reflection and looking where we are. So that uh, might, might well be the theme for the week. Moving into Pisces. <coughs> As Pisces need a change of scenery this week, so um, a break from monotonous things that we have to do or do in our lives, um, would be a good week to um, do things differently to how you always do it, if that makes sense. And I include myself here because I'm a Pisces too. Um, so a change of scenery would be really, really good. Um, you also, we have the cat and the scarab. And what it means is we need to have space this week to remove ourselves from, from things. That's really, really important. And the other thing is that this is the week, 15th to 21st of, of January 2018, where we have to begin again to realize our self-worth and realize how awesome we actually are and that we haven't lost that at all, um, even if life um, is difficult and challenging it's important to realize that even though the mojo might not be fully back yet um, you're better than you were and we, we're better than we've been um, so we, we're getting there but this is not a week this week to um, uh, have stressful situations and, and things like that okay so that was Pisces going into Aries Again, reflection is the theme. Um, for Aries people, it's important to realize that in one area of your life, you're losing space. And you have the kid fox and the buffalo. And uh, so one of these animals, like the kid fox, he lives in the desert, really. 
uh, where there is scarcity, where um, things are quite difficult and you can't really get out, if that makes sense. So that's an analogy uh, for areas or, uh, in your life where you might feel stuck right now. And the buffalo denotes, um, should you feel stuck, at least your territory can be improved and your boundaries can be improved. And so the message is that even though your, your life might not be changing um, this week, it's time to put your boundaries right. Tell people what they can and cannot do. right? And then take it from there. There was Aries going into Taurus now. For um, Tauruses this week, it's important to no longer hide. If you have been in hiding, it's time to come out of this. Um, hiding, not speaking your truth, not changing things, being, being slow on the uptake, because life might be a bit challenging and you kind of feel like, ah, oh, what's the point, kind of thing. Um, you need your self-esteem this week. You need to say, like, you know what, in order for me to, to be better, I have to get better and um, uh, be proactive in changing things. So that's that's your main message this week. Um, the other message for Taurus this week is to not chase chase situations. Um, things will come to you. So, so in other words, take this week um, easy. Take it easy this week. Really, really important. But at the same time, allow yourself to be more forthcoming in um, your expression with regards to how you truly feel okay and that's just Tauruses and you can see there's a, a pattern here already so far the week doesn't necessarily feel that heavy it's just because it's a week, week of reflection which means taking time out of things it feels or might feel a little bit tedious and we're all in this together right so this is not a star sign uh, specific if that makes sense this is an overall energy thing that we all have to go through but you can see with the different star signs we have already explored here today um, reflection and reflecting on situations is a good thing and, and reflection is actually a good thing anyway because um, what what people sometimes do uh, in Tauruses here in particular when they're really annoyed you just pressure you just go go through it kind of thing and um, so for Tauruses it's, it's, it's uh, oftentimes quite an achievement to actually throttle back and observe before you do stuff. And that's part of your message this week. Now going into Gemini. Don't know what's coming yet, but I feel I should do this one more time. Give um, a little more energy to the star sign of um, Gemini. And now we have a look what's going on. For Gemini, it's another star sign this week that is, um, I wouldn't say forced because you have free will but that is um, encouraged to um, reflect on situations. What you have is the bald eagle and the coyote. And what it really means is you see things coming. You already have a very good idea about what's going on in your life and um, therefore can reflect on situations just the way they are. Also, um, having the bald eagle and the coyote, you're quite a strong um, you have strong uh, spirit guides this week, really. And so nobody's going to mess with you, if that makes sense, as long as you stick to your guns. Um, and I mentioned the Coyote earlier about realizing that um, you can do with much less in life. And when um, should there be situations or people who are more of a hindrance to you, um, you, can, you can let them go. And this week, you will be able to look at it a little bit detached and say like, oh, you are one of the people that no longer serves me. And when you let them go with love, you attract someone with a higher energy with love. Right? So um, 
Well, whatever happens this week for, for Gemini with regards to um, changing, almost exchanging people, um, do it with love and with empathy and you're going to be fine, right? Moving into Cancerians, Cancer. Cancerians this week will feel misunderstood, not listened to, not fully appreciated. Not the whole week, don't worry about it. But uh, energy, uh, energetically speaking, um, there will be these elements this week where you kind of go like, is anyone paying attention to me? <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and all the guides are saying is, this week is uh, a slow week for you. Don't make any massive changes, hang in there, you will get through it just fine. Um, and don't waste energy on people that obviously do not listen uh, to, to uh, your uh, emotional state and how you truly feel. Right. So this is a week of, of um, retreating, uh, being calm, gathering strengths and not wasting energy on uh, people who just don't get you. Okay, that was Cancerians. Now going into Leo. Leo's job this week is to look at your current home and look at situations where you spend um, uh, a lot of hours in a, in a place and make the places where you spend a lot of time energetically uh, as high as possible. This would be a good week actually um, to have a good cleanse. Use, use white sage, use a pendulum, use crystals um, and, and, and cleanse the spaces. Um, that you um, vacate a lot during the week um, and where you spend a lot of time uh, during the week. Um, and that's all there really is to it for, for Leos this week. It's to realize that space can be created by having the energy higher. And that's really what this is. And once the energy rises and the vibration rises, issues can come up that can then be looked at and solved. Um, it's pretty pretty straightforward, even though it's in in reality not all that simple. Um, but that's the that's the job for for Leos this week. Going into Virgo. Virgos, it's important this week to realize and to remember how easy you and easily you can um, adapt to situations. This week, your adaptation adaptation is needed. Um, there will be loads of stuff happening to you this week um, that is potentially um, challenging, quite uh, difficult at times, and you have to say, I can look at the situation and I deal with it as best I can. So there's no need to be uh, overly prepared um, to say the right thing. There's also no need to be um, in hiding. This is just whatever life throws at you this week, you'll manage. Okay? And uh, you have another eagle here as well. Uh, it's not the bald eagle, you have the golden eagle this week. And uh, it, it means that also um, be high up energetically. See things from the highest point of view you, you, you possibly can. And um, so you can see what is coming to you this week, right? And, and, and above all, be calm, be in your calmness, uh, because that's where your true strength uh, truly lies, is by you being um, a person in control of your emotions. And um, also uh, a person that doesn't necessarily have to respond uh, to people's opinions, because that's just their opinion, it doesn't matter what other people think of you. Not at all. Okay, so that was Virgo going into Libra.
it was another quite forceful uh, uh, way of playing the tubular bell. Um, so we have to have a look now at, at Libra. It's interesting, um, before we go into the message here, that um, I have about five different decks that I'm using uh, every week and they all um, are spirit animal guide decks. And so you can imagine, you know, one, one deck having, having about 76 cards, how many cards are here. And, um, uh, and I have another eagle here. So the eagle seems to be an overall energy uh, uh, this week that is with us. And, and, and all eagles are um, in charge, really, of, of their destinies and of their, and of their lives. And they're quite determined um, as, as beings. So um, for everything we've just talked about and for everything that's going on this week, determination uh, makes, a, makes a big, big uh, difference in um, looking at things and, and, uh, and getting through them, right? So with regards to... Um, Virgo? Are we in Virgo? Or are we in Libra? I think we are in Virgo. <laughs> I completely forgot about where, 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 where we are. Let me just have a look. No, sorry. I just lost my, my brain here. We are, we are, we are in Libra. <laughs> sorry. So for Libra people, um, you have the deer and the eagle. So uh, it's about observing this week, being, being really calm, being in your calmness. Um, reflect, and this is an interesting point, reflect from afar. Uh, don't be in situations that are stressful and then try to figure out a way how to get out of it. This is more like saying, okay, I have to remove myself a little bit this week um, to really reflect on, on what isn't working, if, if that makes sense. And I just realized I should have ironed the shirt. <laughs> but um, it's one of those things I don't like doing. Anyway, <laughs> I, 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 um, I try next time to look a bit more proper. <laughs> right? That was Libra going into Scorpio. This week, the week of January 15th to 21st, for um, Scorpio, you need to have patience. It's important that you um, bring the energy of patience to the whole week, for want of a better word. Um, and that's really your job this week, is to be patient uh, and let things play out. Um, not all your manifestations are done yet, not all your questions are answered this week. And all the guides are saying to you is, um, don't rush things. Also, when things are, are being uh, presented to you, um, don't take them for face value. And don't think that um, there is only one way of solving things. So this week is a good week to, to, to um, step back a little from things and uh, reflect quietly and let things come to you. Right? So you need to have a little bit of patience this week. And that's all I have for Scorpio going into our final um, star sign for the week, which is Sagittarius. Oops, okay. <laughs> For Sagittarius this week is quite important to realize again um, how um, unique you truly are and that your true strengths does not lie in being one with a group and be part of many. You are quite a free spirit and it is that freedom and that um, being different that even though it may alienate you at times from people, this is who you truly are. And if you realize this week that uh, how you truly are is the best way to conduct yourself in life, um, then you're halfway there. So this week is about um, 
remembering that um, not everybody will get you. There will be people that always have opinions on how to do things. And again, let them have opinions. It's all that, it's all that, all that, that is an opinion. Or um, their suggestion, even well-meant uh, advice, is advice oftentimes from a people's point of, from a person's point of view. Doesn't mean that that you are that person that can take that advice quite seriously um, and easily. So um, when people mean well and you feel like yeah I should be listening to this, <laughs> by all means do so. But um, trust your own inner feeling, trust your instinct, and remember your instinct is a very strong um, part of you because you have the jaguar here and 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 big cats and cats by by default. Um, have an have an, an amazing uh, gut feeling, and an amazing uh, perception for 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 things, especially finer things, spiritual things. So so be in your strengths and observe and uh, and feel it uh, from from the gut and from the heart rather than analyze it, if that makes sense. And then the other thing uh, this week for Sagittarius is to be lighthearted. It's really important um, this week to not be in um, frustration mode and um, and that's really all there is to it so I'm gonna have one more sound before we close this down just to uh, allow us all to get a bit more energy as well that's all we have time for see you all next week nice one